Hello again. My name's Carl Smith. I'm a television reporter. And sometimes I find stories that my newsroom just won't touch. They're too weird. They're too far out there. But that's the kind of story I like. In fact, I seek them out with ads like this one that I place in newspapers and online. It's through an ad like this that I was contacted by an exotic dancer who claimed she'd been abducted by aliens. Of course, it's the kind of story my station won't go near. That's why I'm bringing it to you here. Carl Smith, by the way, is just an alias, but I'll be back in a few moments with the story of Linda Love and her alien encounter. You know, it's not every day that you get a phone call about an alien abduction, but recently I did. It was through an ad like this that I got a call from Linda Love. She's an exotic dancer at a strip club who says she was abducted and probed by aliens. An alien encounter. Well, I was working at the club one night and uh, it was a really, really slow night. Closed. It was about 2 a.m. and uh, I kind of snuck out the back door without a bouncer, which is against uh, normal policy, but just wanted to get home. So I was headed to my car and that's when it happened. When what happened? This really bright light swooped out of nowhere and before I knew it, I don't really know what happened. I, I blacked out and I woke up the next morning and uh, I was in my car and uh, I was all sticky and couldn't remember anything and I noticed that my bra and panties were missing so I didn't know if I'd been attacked, raped. What'd you do then? I panicked and went home. I, I drove home, I took a shower. And I let the water run over my body for what must have been an hour. And uh, when I got out of the shower, that's when I noticed the black spots. The black spots. Can you show them to me? Do you still have them? Have you seen a doctor? No. <laughs> if I found someone to examine them for you? I don't know about that. Don't you want to know what happened here? I, I guess so. Okay, I'll line someone up and we'll get them looked at. Okay. When we come back, We'll find out what the doctor discovered. Or definitely some sort of foreign material, perhaps, perhaps a plastic. They're uh, definitely not natural. Okay, so far we have met Linda Love. She's an exotic dancer who claims she was attacked by aliens. One thing is for sure though, she has some strange, even mysterious dots on her body. Okay, Linda, let's have a look at those spots. And there's others? Four total from what I could find. And where else? Can you see anything? Any idea what it is? I'm not sure. Yeah, these, um are definitely some sort of foreign material, perhaps perhaps a plastic. Uh, they're definitely not natural.
What do you think these dots are? Well, it's hard to say. I think we need more uh, magnification. Uh, I'm going to send it down to the lab and have them evaluate it with a microscope. When we return, we'll go to the lab to find out more about those little black spots removed from Linda's body. They're all the same picture, except for some writing and numbering. To encounters you saw just like I did the doctor removed these tiny micro dots off the body of Linda Love but what are they and where did they come from hopefully we're about to find out they're all the same picture except for some writing and numbering writing or numbering what are they they're not biological and that's out of my realm of studies um, but I'd say they're microfilm or possibly micro dots you want to take a look yeah Wow. Can you make digital images of these and, and put them on this flash drive? Sure, I'll do it right now. Hi, Tom. Hey, it's Carl. I just need a favor. I've got, I, I got some tiny little micro dots, strange things that I need to analyze. Can, I assume we can email those images? Yeah, I don't know why not. Can I send them there to your federal lab address? Okay, write this down. Tom.Jordan at flab.gov. Okay, we're gonna get them to you right away. Thanks. Can we scan this chart and send it to? This story of Linda Love's alien encounter is just beginning. What you see next may shock some of you. I think they all left a little mark behind saying that that part of her body had been inspected. As you've seen, Linda Love, the exotic dancer, claims that she left the strip club one night only to wake up the next morning covered in tiny microfilm dots. But what do the dots mean? She doesn't remember a thing. But could the dots be a clue to what happened to her that night? Let's find out. Wow, Carl, what a great looking girl. Really great. I know that. Tell me what I don't know. Well, Hunter and I both agree that the characters on these pictures are some kind of numbers. They could be something like octal or base eight, especially since they only have eight phalanges. You mean fingers and toes? Yeah. Hunter thinks these could be some kind of coordinates on a map, kind of like you see on MapQuest. I'm thinking of heavenly buddies. And I scanned this into the computer and what I examined all of the dot where it located places strategically uh, match the map of stars. You see they line up exactly. And if it's an octal, we can start from the Earth, go to Alpha Century, and then the star number three, four, and five, and that's point to where they live. Yeah, I agree, the dots are numbered, but I think Hendra's reading a little too much into this. I think the, the woman was physically examined, and the people who examined her, whether they be aliens, doctors, inspectors, whoever, I think they all left a little mark behind saying that that part of her body had been inspected. You know, kind of like when you buy clothes and it says inspected by number 13. Or it can be an elaborate hoax. Sorry, Carl, we just can't be sure. I think we should examine the girl. Alien examination or a hoax? How could I be sure? Then, I got a phone call from some teenagers who were partying nearby on the beach about the same time as Linda's abduction. 
they say they had seen an alien ship. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it was like around midnight or so. We've been partying, so. <laughs> <laughs> But we saw like this bright white light. Yeah. Yeah, it was like glowing and it was bright, like this light. And then, like, in the light, you could see this weird flying saucer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, crazy. It was like it was there <laughs> and then it was just gone. <laughs> yeah, it was gone. It disappeared. Was there anyone else there? Do you have any proof? Um, no. Oh! I got a video of her. Oh, I got a video of Maddie. Yeah, hang on. I'm just gonna pull it up here for a sec. Babe, stop! Babe, <laughs> stop! Wrong video! <laughs> My bad. Just okay. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is the one. See it? Oh, man, that's not normal. You see it? You see the light? It's crazy, right? Man, I've seen a lot of rocket launches from right here on this beach. Mm -hmm. That was no rocket launch. Yeah. That was an alien spaceship. Extraterrestrial, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was interesting, but not conclusive. So I decided I'd go back to the club and nose around and see if I could talk to some of Linda's friends. Excuse me. Do you know Linda Love? Yeah, I know her. How long have you known her? I wouldn't say a long time, but I know her. Do you know anything about this alien abduction? Let's not talk about it. OK, so we'll talk in the ladies' room then. Did you see anything that night? No, none of us did. Typical, you know? What do you mean, typical? Well, Linda tells a lot of stories. Like, she's going to Dallas to be a cheerleader, or her aunt died and left diamonds, but the diamonds never show. You know what I mean? All right. What else can you tell me about her? Look, baby, I work here, and I'm up next, so I need a change. No. You know his name? Um, yes. It's Johnny something. I don't know. You know how to get a hold of him? Yeah, he's a photographer, bartender, and a sleaze. He has a studio on First Street behind that Irish pub. I know where that is. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, are you going to stay for my show? I think I just saw it. Come on. I said come on. Hello? Hey, hey, who's out there? You Johnny? You can't bring Cameron here. You Johnny? Might be. You know Linda Love? Are you the guy she's been talking to about the alien thing? Might be. Cool. What do you want to know? What did you see that night? I was not there. I was working at the bar that night. There's plenty of people who can tell you where I was. So how'd you find out about it? When she got home, she called me and told me all about it. Did you believe her story? Sure, of course I do. You know why? Why? Because now when I bang her, my jump blows. You want to see? No, 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 no. 
That's just, okay. I'm uh, just messing with you, man. So safe to assume you don't know anything. I know. I know. Maybe you'll even figure it out. Maybe you won't. Hey, maybe I'm a Martian. You decide. Smile. Well, as you saw, Johnny was no help, but I was out of leads, so I decided to go see Linda Love one more time. But when I was driving to see Linda, I got a call that a girl was locked or trapped in a burning car at the very club that Linda Love was a dancer at. Police scanners indicated that police and fire departments had been called to the scene. I immediately thought this might be the break I needed to finally solve Linda's mysterious abduction. But when I arrived on the site, I soon learned that would not be the case. It turned out instead to just be a domestic dispute between one of the bouncers from the club and an old girlfriend. Apparently, she was pretty upset about being dumped the night before by the guy. So she'd locked herself in his car and tried to set it on fire. However, he called 911 and the incident was all under control by the time I arrived. So I continued to the restaurant to meet Linda Love. Linda, you asked me to uh, investigate what happened to you, and I've done that. I have to honestly tell you my belief is that you were abducted by aliens. The evidence is scientifically inconclusive, but what I can tell you and show you is what those black dots are. Those are tiny photographs of you. Linda Love felt like she'd been touched by aliens, but was she? Perhaps she's just a gullible girl with a clever photographer boyfriend, or maybe she's the victim of a prank or a date rape drug. Think about that for the next few minutes, and I'll be back with a preview of our next encounter as I continue to explore the real, the unreal, and beyond. Welcome back to Encounters. I want to make a promise to you to continue posting these ads and looking for your bizarre and unique stories. Coming up next time on Encounters, you're going to meet Earl Ray Jones and Joshua McCoy and hear their horrific experience with the bloody 520 werewolf. You know it's a werewolf when you see a werewolf, sir. You got any proof at all? He didn't see me and he ran the other way. So I managed to take a picture. Can I assume that you've never heard any reports of werewolves being involved out there on 520? No, I've never heard of that, no. 520, don't take that road. It's called Bloody 520. And it's, what? Why? Well, because there are a lot of deaths on it. In fact, I covered so many on that road. But in fact, the state at one time even said 10 times more people about died in that section of road than a lot of other places in the state. So is it just the nature of this road that causes so many accidents, or is it something else? That's none of your business, and you really need to just leave the werewolves alone. Get out of here. Get out of here. And remember, if you have an unusual story to tell, you can always contact me at Carl Smith at EncountersTVShow.com. Be sure to join us next time as I continue to explore the real, the unreal, and beyond on Encounters.